The, the reason we're here today is that we are very fortunate that a few months ago uh, the Dale Marie family from Dublin called us to say they had this family heirloom which was an extraordinary photograph they figured over 100 years old and they just discovered that had been taken at the Town Hall Theatre in Galway and there began a story that's unfolded over the last two to four months which has come to fruition today with the presentation of a blown up copy of this wonderful photograph about which Dara might say a few words, and then we'll ask Garo just really to say a few words. Dara, want to say a few words? Right, thank you. Come on. So I do spar up a lot of fault to spare a heroic glare, quick hour clean the cockroach, con an oak hodge starul, special to show a yellow relin. But what them fault to er let a heroic clan e harim, a akahara her ado Fergus, Agus Malus. Uh, and indeed, there are many relatives and friends that have travelled with them. Is Karth August Kui, the Lin Jeff Neil on the Guthno Kam, Ganyan Mitch Kamora, Pai Bleer on the Glushakti, August on the Hachtri Mora, a Wung Lig, no star on the Hairan, so Trevsha Nijeg is a Doyeg, Gadi Nijeg is a Fedo. August a new Tagan Mitch Lichele, O Awad August Ignar, Con Porch Hundernagaike, August a Rachtus Nijeg is a Trejeg, so Skershin a Ahent. First and foremost, may I bid you all a hearty and indeed festive welcome to the Town Hall Theatre this afternoon to share with us this very special and indeed historic occasion. May I extend a particularly warm welcome and sincere thank you to the current family for their immense generosity, magnanimity and indeed civic spiritedness in presenting this marvellous photograph uh, to the Town Hall Theatre. This is truly a wonderful gift to the city and indeed to the nation. The success of this project has been truly a testament to the triumph of teamwork and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all those who have played a role in bringing today's event to fruition, especially those uh, who shared in the constant fun, fascination, and at times frustration uh, in identifying the amazing collage of characters present in this photograph. So Tom Kenny, Jackie Cunny, John Cunningham, Mary Harris, Davio Cronin, and Deirdre Cunilla, among so many others. So I'd like to thank them all for their generous time and expertise. And indeed the Town Hall for uh, providing this wonderful space, the central space um, at the foot of the staircase for housing this uh, photograph. But the lion's share, I think, of the painstaking work required in identifying the numerous faces must again go to the current family, who have been consummate and tenacious researchers over the past uh, few months. This photograph, taken on the steps of the town hall 100 years ago in July 1913, is tantamount to a near who's who, if you will, of the coming revolution, with as many as perhaps half the signatories of the 1916 rising uh, proclamation, Patrick Pierce, Sean McDiarmid, and Eamon Kant among the group, as well as the first three presidents of Ireland, Douglas Hyde, Sean T. O'Kelly, and Eamon de Valera. Not to mention a whole host of prominent military, political, and literary figures, from Countess Markovich to Porrick O'Connor. And what's more remarkable is that in 1913, few of these would be, or indeed confirmed, cultural and political revolutionaries could have envisaged the central role they would go on to play in Irish history a mere few years later. These collectively would comprise an alternative elite, which though marginal in 1913, would ultimately eclipse the long-established Redmondite Home Rule Ascendancy and would fight for and eventually forge an independent Irish state. A number of weeks ago, the state commemorated the foundation of the Irish Volunteers in the Garden of Remembrance, and inscribed on the wall in the memorial is a poem called An Ashling. It was written by um, Liam Makushti, and it commemorates the vision of that generation, encapsulated, I think, very well in this photograph, who envis envisioned not only a politically free Ireland, but a culturally independent one. And I'd like to read the poem. I think it's somewhat fitting, if you may allow me. In Narcacht an Eidochish, Rinu Ashling Dun, Lassam or Sullis an Eidochish, Agus Nir Muchoe, Evosach an Lag Vishnig, Rinu Ashling Dun, Hurumar Kran the Krogachta, Agus Honig Bla Ed, Ingrivru Ingivru the Dirshe, Rinu Ashling Dun, Velamar Schnach the Teuve, Agus Rit Alna Havjochna As, Hurumar an Ashling Exnav, Mar Alla Ernaun, 
Renu Firinia than Ashling, Renu Saura than Givre, Renu Sirsha than Dirsha. I was dogmer Agivshe, Mar Iron Thee. A glum to the Sirsha, Quidnagi Arringer, glum to the Hashlinger. We saw a vision. In the darkness of despair, we saw a vision. We lit the light of hope, and it was not extinguished. In the desert of discouragement, we saw a vision. We planted the tree of valor, and it blossomed. In the winter of bondage, we saw a vision. We melted the snow of lethargy, and the river of resurrection flowed from it. We sent our vision a-swim, like a swan on the river. The vision became a reality. Winter became summer. Bondage became freedom, and this we left to you as your inheritance. O oh, generations of freedom, remember us, the generations of the vision. And today, Jelmaj Kamora, er Gluun the Hashlinga, Mwidze Gluun the Sirsha. Karamila Mahbad. Thank you very much, Sarah. Garoj, want to say a few words? Thank you. Well, I've heard of Marta Rata, Egdaran Shah. It's from the Shkir Tui, the Machas and Mache, the Pector Shah. Er Gilor Norkushin, the Go Help Star in the Hayden, the Go Help Star in the Tarnga, Star in the Breaker, and there's a Go Help Star no Star, Hatter and the Valley of the Fain. It's Deal Spacia, a father fad, and Pector Roy Hushar. And it's Begahas of the first time the Hullerines and the Dunkin Ladroy. I mean, who can follow your special with the Hunchi in her fad, top kids than Shkail Mina have a draw, a dara peshkele. Agus, the Vigordini, the Gordini and Shatar Vergon, the Gavacha, Cortesha, Peter, Vinyarin, Rudy Oyler, Fina Willen, Shah, Emerla Homa. And I would join certainly with Dara and with Tom and Fergal and with all here in thanking those who have made this available. Shlochti Aulu, the Hani Ganero, the Oklia, the Sahani Ganyas. O wanis tan na charm na nirhar charqui, tamid gumor fi kamuinicha as an pektor eshtiqtuid sha a charar faldoin. I'm sure, no more than myself, that all of you are familiar with the, the sense of the great poignancy that attends all the pictures that we have of the years immediately preceding 1914. When we see group photographs of the assembled heads of Europe the country house in the, in the last days before the war, uh, the, the assembled workers with aprons outside the great stores, Lipton's, E.G. Fitz, uh, the home and colonial store, so stores, all of these assemblies of people that were taken uh, for commemorative purposes leading up to or before, and before certainly they knew the great holocaust that was ahead of them in the charnel houses of Europe between 1914 and 18. And this is particularly the case when you have family photographs. There are very, very few family that we have before 1914, where, and particularly in the years immediately preceding, where one wouldn't immediately have to say how many were gone within four years. Uh, and the gaps that were. The world, that world that was captured in photographs before 1914 was a world which would never be again and the gaps and the total decimation of a generation was reflected afterwards, not just in the loss of people, but in the loss of hope, in the loss of innocence, in the loss of a whole sensibility, as it were. Now, this is a unique, if you like, example of that, a very unique example, not only because of the size of the group, but because, in a nonsense, this is also a family. A family which was on the verge of huge schisms and bitter splits, it was the family that had grown out of the idealism of the revival, and the revival was the language revival, but it was a more general revival as well. On Shah Ta Loch Ne Tiricht Rid Lane, Ta Loch Ne Tanga, Ta Dirbishori Tanga, Ta Ali and Toyi, Ta Loch Drom Yicht, Ta Loch Berlidus, Ta Stare, Ta Loch Taide, Ta Dini Vi Gradamol Se Se Lata Duil, Ta Dini Vi Gradamol Eganom, Ta Dini Vi Ishen, O Hibne Le Tiricht. But the important thing about it is that within a decade, if you were to run forward from July of 1913, and to see the huge and bitter divisions that had been built up, and which were already coming to a head, there is a sense of melancholy about this assembly. Hyde had already resigned from the Gaelic League, tired and disillusioned a few weeks before this assembly, and they, they, they succeeded in patching it together. 
in getting him to resume his position as Uhtaran of the Kundra. But he had already written a really desperately sharp letter to the Kushtigano Kundra Greg a few short weeks before this assembly came together, saying, I've had enough. I can't put up with any more of the bitterness and the bitchiness and the sniping and the things that are being said about me and about and essentially about the ranking gratitude with which I am surrounded. And I'm off. And I said that's the end of it. And they really had to 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 to, to plead with him to, to, to get him to resume. But the tensions were only, if you like, deferred. Uh, they were not resolved. Uh, issues, of course, about militancy and the politicization of the Gaelic League, but there was more as well. The, the, the original idealism had run its course. This was, this was 20 years after the founding of the Gaelic League. The first generation had run through a great deal of achievement against the English state. The new generation coming up were more impatient for other things. There was linguistic snobbery. There was dialect snobbery. There was the impossibility, the impossible arrogance of the monster men uh, in, 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 the, in the Gaelic League, um, and and all and, and all that came with it. So this, there is in this assembly, when you look across the spectrum of them, all of them, with their different ambitions, different subgroups and collectivities, there is a quite extraordinary assembly here, which we can absolutely say with certainty would never be seen again together. Not just physically within the one frame, but ideologically and culturally within the one frame, within the one horizon of ambition. Now that makes this a remarkable picture on all grounds, not just simply because of the sheer assembly and the, 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 the fascination of picking out the different people from the different strands of the movement, as used to be said, the movement. Um, the, the late Todd Andrews had a habit when he would be making the distinction between those who were among the fighting men and those who are, he was to say when he find out somebody who hadn't been out in 1960, he belonged to the literary side of the movement. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a sub-deacon. He, well, he wasn't, well, they, were, they, hadn't, they weren't quite among the ordained, but they were a little rank below. They had the faith, but they hadn't really been ordained. Now, there are many who were in the literary side of the movement in this picture, but there are also many who were in the conspiracy side of the movement. And there were also those who belonged to an older generation altogether. Lord Ashburn, for example, who belonged to that group who straddled political unionism with cultural nationalism in a way that we associate more with Scotland and with the wealthy of Wales than we do with Ireland, not the other region. And again, the fascination of the accoutrement of cultural differentiation with the, 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 those of you who are more who are more literate in fashion matters than I uh, can say what you can say about it, but there is no doubt about it. It's face to them too, I was talking to the right then, if we had this particular tradition and the invention of tradition, as it were, in some of these. Enough, Tom, I promise I wouldn't want it too greatly. Tom, 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 the Kinalach Oil of Pictoid, a Togok, Er Horshoch, on Vurkhovik, a Scris in Europe, a Scris in the Glosh of the Gilligan Achtir, a Gazeris in Oil. A Gustasha Fear of Space Show, who have started in the Belgian Jeff, started in the Glosh of the Agashino Fuggle Sky the Warren. Came forward to talk to Kohe Karam and Ladavida. Been a head of the Republic of the Samaras Blanthia. I was not only a door of Queen Kaharshak, a veteran of Kaharshak, but an ean Kahar Goyalach, a deity, a woman, and ten Lonyacht Irbach, a deity, a Goyalu, Margara, and Gaelge Erin Tarshak, and Dahev, and Dahev, as as Parachala Makudi Milmach, a was Koshlacha, a Law of Oin, a was Arnochan Amara, a was being Gaelge Takishtak with the Infadach. But the Shan had a bit of him on the car of him, or as old the time it was in time to tell you. Marshin, V. Dochus Moron, Agus Lian and Dochus Shin. Well, who made in Schiller I go native with three day of Pedro with the native of Fisson A. Had a V. Denton or Honey Hound and Rilton Stokers. V. Irk Denton, Connection the Curry Greek. V. and Kate Harbonneha, Kudgumach, and Tarum, Grebach and Shasa Hair. V. and Tiger Bonneha. Agus vi dolgas er leh korre er oldskar er an oldskar en chau. Vi er i dag deri er fadigen om de kjæl magtne, de kjæl ærgit, de kjæl inspirerede, de kjæl rådbe. Kvir vi dolgas er an oldskar mar vaun an ochne. Agus fik vi brien glæn til at den pikturse af et lage læs mod den a dorse en sin. Når han i fire fagne går bort er kommet noget. De skri 
John, John McEntee, not for all in the Great War Mora Hain, a hick top in the Hashling and Maladera, Shkrishi Tomas Adelik and Terra Edifish of the Sturge Jet. Will we be able to make Galway a Gaelic Heidelberg? Been a Dothan, Nedic Trucks a tree, Nish, Jeropilor, or Hepper in Ashling Shin, Hep Quinte Oidhe, Achner Hep Kohonglon, Israeli and Kharsha, Egoni, in Nano in the Wiltorna, Nano in the Nakana of a Kaiser and Chasu. Is Gaelic Gamora, the Parasha, Nayan Valeda Dating, in the Pubble Lloyd and Dini. On Brother Dugan Shun Acoustic Air, the Fuiman, the Fuiman at the Tal of Lush, Ta Fuiman in the Gaelic, Arasatan de Fain, La Chloss, Nis Farshing as the Parasha, a Shubby, a Retroit, a Gorsi Shimsirte, in the Honid Ersul in the Hrinian Dini, a Derogus Han, Phillips, or not, Nayan Valeda Dating. Neil and Ashley Malavig Nadine Shahan, at Marshan Hay, Nikor Bellis Fuel Yenov, then wrote the Talk Roha, Alice at our force, a work in progress, a work in progress, rather than Janela. Go with Wirkus Ochrimach, Le Chetailoch, a Hir Esha her forward. Is Mahone, a Halan the Karach, Agus is Trahul, Agus is Fedunoch, Gumach and Rodja Halan the Karach, honored more Shim Sirte, Agus Kultur, Mar Unsha. Taquidus ne Nodini Bachunsk Navi in a ray fain, a Gursi Adiana, Dromirte, a Gishimsirte, a Gaskanoit is Desha, the Marshi del Foil, not in Shah, a Haran the Karo, Sahib. Thank you very much. Thank you, Garo. Uh, and just to take up on that, the importance of the, photo, the, the picture, it's on behalf of the Town Hall Theatre and Galway City Council, which is represented here today by Tom Connell, Director of Services, uh, we are hugely appreciative of this beautiful uh, picture being presented to us. And the, the context and the story behind the photograph as described by Garo and Dara there is just it's extraordinary and it, it brings to life what we will walk past every day we come through here. And I think uh, the current family, Edo Damery and our two brothers Fergus and Manus, uh, came to Galway with this item and their relatives who have travelled from, from Munster. I think they're here somewhere. Um, it's just been uh, th that family came and created another family here in Galway over the last few months with Jackie and Deirdre and Dara and all the, the team who came together to identify the people in the photograph. That extended to, to Ronnie, who gave us a double page spread today in the advertiser, and many others who got roped in by Tom along the road. Along the road. So uh, we're hugely appreciative. Uh, the significance of it has been hugely underlined here again today. And uh, I don't want to say too much of them to maybe ask one of the family to just say a couple of words. Uh, is it Fer Fergus going to say a few words? Yeah, just say a few words on behalf of the family. Fergus. I, I, <laughs> want to uh, offend anyone's ears with my my um, my Irish is not uh, very good so I, I don't want to see people rinsing when I, I <laughs> but so I, I, I think I'll, I'll say something in English if you don't mind. Um, we're as a family we're absolutely thrilled to, to, to see the picture finally on the on the wall of the town hall here um, theatre it's, it's a fabulous picture as you, I'm sure everyone appreciates it's it's and when we first saw it, it I think some, it, you have it there, it's, it's, it's only the size of an A4 sheet, approximately, and if you were to, if you did, you know, you, that could have been thrown out. Many people might have had that, um, you know, down the years, they might have cleared out attics and stuff and said, no, I don't know anyone there, and thrown it in a skip. But, um, I'd say that it's, it's obviously, um, it's, uh, it has, um, you know, it has been hidden for a hun almost a hundred years, and um, there probably are other copies in, in, in other people's houses. And indeed, because it has been now um, uh, shown in the uh, Galway Advertiser, um, uh, a couple more may come to light. We, we don't know, but um, uh, we had great pleasure anyway. In, in it was a great sort of detective um, story, and we started about three years ago. And uh, we made a certain amount of progress until uh, uh, we, we, were, we were at a loss to know where the picture w was taken. And uh, it was Ado that made a breakthrough there earlier in the year, around April, and um, she went to the 
the um, architectural archive in Dublin and uh, the head man there just took one look and he said that's Galway so um, as soon as, as we found that out it gave us a kind of a fresh impetus if you like to, to, to do further work on it so I rang, um, I rang Fergal here in, in the town hall and um, theatre and uh, uh, he uh, put me on to Tom Kenny and then of course in the meantime um, we had found Dara fallen on the, on the internet and um, I found out that Dara had uh, given a couple of lectures on the uh, Galway 1913 and um, so um, anyway from the very outset I have to, uh, Fergal was most enthusiastic uh, about it and was all going to to get the picture down here and uh, so I think he, he recommended that I get in touch with Tom Kenny and I got in touch with Tom and then and uh, we got together with Dara and we all came down. Actually last week we came down for a couple of hours and we made fantastic progress last week. We found uh, Padre O'Connor and uh, Claude Chavas I think oh, yeah. and uh, a couple of, um, who else did we find last week? That, yeah we found um, Ada English and George McNichol and several other people and it was really great and the last person to be found I think was, was well there was Mary Hayden who oh, yes. that person yes. had mystified us for a long time <laughs> and then we think that maybe Nora Ash mm -hmm. and um, but anyway it's just um, I, 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 I'll stop now. <laughs> I just, I'm just, uh, just delighted on behalf of my brother Manus and, and my sister Edo and, uh, and myself. We're just absolutely thrilled uh, to have um, the picture you know, on the wall now uh, eventually. And, and I want to thank uh, Fergal for, for uh, his, his enthusiasm from the very start. And to Tom and to um, uh, Dara and Jackie and Deirdre and Ronnie from the the call uh, Ronnie, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so um, it's just um, as I say, what can you say? But you could look at it for for whatever mm -hmm. like and, and still it keeps giving, you know. And uh, I hope now we've only identified about. 72 people, but there's 100 99, or so. 99, 99 left. left. So, mm. like I'd say, with the, the fact that it has gone out in the Galway advertiser, um, it should hopefully bring in some, get some, we should get some more names. Yeah. So, that's all I have to say. <laughs>